are you guys? Ah, I'm super gagging! I'm gagging. I'm so sorry if I blew up your speakers. I'm sorry. But you guys, I not only am so excited for this new hair color, I'm gagging on this lip color. I would never wear this lip color. It's just not like my go to. But on Instagram, I asked you guys, I was like, what do I do with this hair color? What eyeshadow would you guys like? You guys absolutely rated 50% green and 50% blue. So what I did, girl, half my face is blue, half my face is green. I played with some old products, some new products. If you guys are ready to learn and get with this gig, bitch, keep watching. You guys, new hair color. I love the dye wigs. Um, it's like one of my favorite things to do, um, but it's not even like crazy, crazy dye. It's just more like a dye dip and go. Also, I did a poll on my Instagram and I wanted your guys' help on what eyeshadow to do today. This is so much makeup. Like, this is just too much. Let's just kind of take it back down, take it down a notch a little bit, and let's just get really, really, really creative. On my Instagram, I did a poll on what eyeshadows to do with this magenta hair. I was like, fuck, it's magenta hair. Now, usually I'm like, okay, if I'm wearing like colored hair, I'm super nude, very, very neutral. Um, but I want to do a cool eye. I want to do something really fun today and cool. So I was like, okay, either green or blue. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys right now. You guys love polls, mama. I'm just now looking at it. You guys look at exactly 50% said green, 50% said blue. I'm not even lying. This is literally what it's showing. Like, look, can we get a zoom in? 50% said green and 50% said blue. I'm gonna do one side blue and I'm gonna do one side green. I'm gonna see which one goes well with magenta hair. I'm gonna pull a bunch of palettes here. I'm gonna pull old things, new things. If I like it, I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna do a little bit of Laura Mercier. I recently tried this. I actually really genuinely do love this. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my lucky little pig mirror because you guys know I'm obsessed with Shane Dawson and Jeffree's launch. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the brows. I am not gonna do, should I do a magenta? No, I'm not doing a magenta brow. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do a very, very light brow. Not magenta brows and green and blue eye. Oh, no, 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 no. Y'all not gonna have me looking like that. As I'm putting on my brows, I'm just really thinking about like what palette I'm gonna use. Because I don't think I have an all green palette. I know what blue palette I'm using. It's actually all blue. A lot of my things are super repetitive because it just works for me, you guys. And I feel like that's very, very important when it comes to like daily makeup. You know what I mean? You can give me a, a million pomade, bitch. They're gonna do the same shit. But to everyone that's new, welcome to my channel. Hi, everyone. If you guys have not seen any of my videos before, please go check it out. Hit that subscribe because I have two videos a week. So if you're new, hi. I hope you are enjoying yourself. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pull out the P. Louise primer. I put this all over the the eye it helps me like no tomorrow now get that all over the eye you know what I'm gonna do eyes first today I want to do color I want color so I'm just taking the P Louise and just really really getting it on the lid and I just really take it and I just pack it so it's evenly spread see like that see how evenly it's done that it's all set oh See? See how perfectly it's set? This is going to be the P. Louise Base Pro. If I'm just moving too fast, please down below, you guys, in the comments, go ahead and ask the question. I'm going to do my best to answer them as much as I can. I think I'm going to start with my blue side first. Oh, I got my nails done. I didn't know what I wanted. I was like, just give me black. And now this is the blue blood. So you guys know this is stunning. Um, this is the only blue palette I have. It's literally all shades of blue. I already know what I'm gonna do here. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna take this frost in here. And I'm just gonna lightly just kind of like frost under the brow a little bit. And what this is gonna do is just gonna really give me like a nice little glow. And then now let's go ahead and dip this brush in Entitled. Now Entitled is almost like a blue frost. Blow it out in the crease, really fluffing it in. As you guys can see here, I'm going in a very, very circular motion. I'm not really going like this. I know a lot of people naturally want to do this, but when you start to do this, it does create a line and it's really weird. It's really important to go in circles because when you go circles, it's really like blending it out. Taking a little bit of this and going underneath the eye. And then now we're going to go ahead and jump into this color. This color is called Disease. I want the colors to be super, super seamless where like, I don't want you to even know. Like, I want people to be like, oh my God, how many colors is that. This is gonna be a fun part right here, you guys. So taking that same blue and just really keeping it tight right here. I love to do this because it just kind of like shakes my eye. 
And I'm just really building that color, you guys. The color is sickening. Bitch, I thought I was recording. Okay, so if I skipped anything, I'm so sorry, you guys. I totally thought I was fucking recording. So basically what I did is that I built up some blues. Now I'm hitting to my dark color. My dark color is called cremated. Oh my God, I was literally just talking to myself. Very, very seamless. And then I'm taking that smaller brush and I'm taking it and just really wrapping it around. And now I'm just really taking that color underneath the eye. This color is called Undertaker. It's just really, really almost like a deep ocean blue. So go ahead and take a very, very flat brush. This is the JS11. And now taking a blue. So this color is called Mint Tea and packing it on top. See? So super, super blue. I love it. So that's pretty much good. Now I'm gonna take a black liner and let's go ahead and line in the eyes. Oh wow, it's so pretty. Okay, so as that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and look for a black shadow. Watch, you'll see exactly what I mean. Take the black and I just kind of dab it like right there. You just blend that into the crease. I like to matte my liner. I want a very thin line, you guys. I don't want to see too much black on the bottom, just like that. What do you guys think? I love it. So there's my blue side. Now, I'm not done with this eye yet. I might go back and add a little sparkle, but I kind of want to get on the green and just really see what the vibe is because I don't really even know I have greens like that. Okay, so I kind of know what I'm going to do. I really, really want the same kind of vibe. I need like a green shimmer. I'm gonna play a little bit with Morphe. So there's a lot of greens in here that I see. There is also a lot of greens in the Jeffrey and Morphe collaboration. I'm gonna do some cool sugar pill. I don't really see any other fucking greens. So let's get some shimmers into my crease. So just taking that green and just really milking it the same way we did earlier. Oh God, this is so pretty. As you can see here, it's getting super green. Oh my God, I love it. Taking this color called nature and now really taking it and blending it into that crease. On the blue side, I did use a lot of shimmers and now there's no fucking shimmer in green. I'm just gonna jump right into the mats. Really blending it out. And then I'm gonna take that same green nature and just bring it right here. Take some sugar pill. I want it super green. There's this color called Nate in the Jeffrey and Morphe collab. I wanna say it's almost like a blue green. Oh wow, that's pretty. It's all coming together. Stunning. Wow. So now we're gonna go ahead and take that same color Nate in the smaller brush and just really bring it down on the bottom. I wanna see that glow. I wish I had like a very, very dark. I'm like limited. Oh, there's one more here. Okay, there's a color here called Thrive. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited that we found the colors that kind of do the same thing. From the look of it, you guys, I really like the green side. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take the liner, do the best liner that matches the other side as possible. So because this side is green, it's showing more liner. So I'm gonna take a black shadow. Oh, that's so much better. Taking the black and just really, really blending it out. Make sure it matches the other side, you guys. Let's go ahead and line the waterline on the bottom. Wow, just from the look of it, you guys, I'm like really obsessed with the green, but I love the blue. I don't know, I like them both. Now just taking this and just really blending out. Let's go and get some mascara on this thing because I can't stand eyeshadow like fall out on your lashes. My biggest pet peeve ever. Now I'm gonna get the makeup on, I'm gonna get the concealer on. So let's go ahead and get some foundation, darling. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my NARS. Usually three pumps is what I usually kind of go for. I hate when you have like so much foundation, you're moving it around. So a little tip and trick, just put a little bit on the brush cause you can always add more, but you can't take things off. The thing I hate the most you guys is when there's so much foundation, you're like, where is it going? You're literally just like moving it around in circles. So I'm just taking it. I did go tanning today again. So this is very light for me. Yeah, that is very, 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 very light for me. Just milking this into the forehead. After I apply with the brush, you guys, I love to take out the beauty blender and just really melt it into the skin. Just press it all in the crevices. So now everything is pretty much even. Let's get some concealer on. Oh, let me get right here. What is going on right here? That's okay, because I'm going to wear a wig. Using concealer is super light, so I take it and I just kind of drag it across like that. Just like that. Down the nose. Just really making sure you evenly blend that out. You guys, I promise it's gonna literally all tie in together when I bronze. Now, a little trick for my contour brush, I love to use a flat. This is the 813 Anastasia brush. Now, this is what I use to contour my nose. Now, you don't want a lot of product on there because it's gonna come up really dark. So I just kind of take it and I lightly, I just go down my nose. 
know, see how that goes. And then the reason why I like to use an eyeshadow brush is because I like to take it and then in case I need to blend, I can blend as it goes, so see? So that's kind of just setting it there. Take my beauty blender, I pack it, you see? There's my nail, it's pinch. If you guys really, really, like, really want to pinch it, I take a concealer, I draw it down my nose, make it as straight as you can. I want to take a beauty blender, like, just really this way. See, it's super pinch. So, skin is set. Obviously, look at the different colors. Mm. It's gonna change in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my Laura Mercier setting powder. This is one of my favorite. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just literally bake this lightly. I'm gonna do a little bit on the forehead. I take a brush and I dip a little bit in the actual setting powder. And as you're dusting it off, you're applying a little bit in case you're like missing some of the spots. Obviously, that's uh, not the right color. You guys are like, um. <laughs> Hold on, don't judge yet. Usually after I bake and I like set my makeup, I like to kind of just set up with some setting spray. It kind of just takes like that super powdery, weird setting texture away. And it kind of gives me like a one clean palette where it just looks almost like skin. It's like, oh. This is the part you guys are probably like, uh, is she gonna fucking like change her skin tone? So before I like to contour, I like to highlight first. So I'm taking a highlight powder and just really lighting up my cheeks. I love the paint, like I have plastic surgery. And a little bit on the forehead, just like that. And then what I usually like to do is I take a brush and I just kind of pinch the nose. My friend Taryn, she taught me to kind of just pinch the nose. When she did this, I was like, oh my God. God. So it kind of gives you like this shh nose. So shout out to Taryn, follow her. Uh, she goes by Flawless T. I know, and you guys are like, bitch, bronze. Today I'm gonna go ahead and use a combination of Makeup Forever. This is Pro Finish. I'm gonna be using the color 174 and 168. Girl, my color changes all the time. I'm very rarely one color. If you guys tan, you guys understand where I'm coming from. I'll show you guys the difference in a minute. So see, it's all coming together. Oh wow, it's so pretty. Oh, by the way, this is my favorite bronzing brush, girl. Morphe Y7. I think they sent it to me when I got off Drag Race, like four, three years ago. And I haven't changed it since. And look at this brush, it's still like amazing. How's that, you guys? Perfect, right? I told you guys. You guys, listen, I know. So taking that same color, that bronzer, and just really giving me like that pinched nose look. This is by far my favorite contour brush ever. I, I, I'll show you guys. This is Hank and Henry. This is spelled out S-O-N-J-D-R-A because it's so dense and small but it's still fluffy and it just gives you a sharper, more like cut contour. It just fucking, look at that. It gives me fucking life. So look at the difference. Don't worry, my wig's right here, okay? Wow. I'm gonna start wearing two different eyeshadows from now on. So now, once that's all on, now we're gonna go ahead and bake and then while we bake, we're gonna go ahead and continue with the eyes. I think we need to add a little bit of shimmer. What do you guys think? I think I'm lacking shimmer right now. I'm gonna take out this color again and let's go ahead and just really give the green the final look. I, I love my green side. Let's go ahead and just really give the blue a moment. I do not want to dip into these colors again for the rest of the day. Okay, so just get the... Both sides are pretty good. I love them. Now let's go ahead and jump into some highlight. I have been obsessed with Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. It actually goes on super matte, which is really weird. So I'll show you guys right now. Watch, hold on. So taking a brush, a fan brush, and just really... Look at that. Like it literally... Now it does look a little matte, but it still has like a nice shine. And that's it. It literally looks just like that. And I don't even literally have to tweak it. I love it the way it is. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into some blush. And I just take it, I just scramble. I just scramble all up in there. I want it all. I'm gonna just take it. Oh my God, I totally fucking forgot to do brows. What the hell? Stunning. Okay, uh, take out a blank brush and just wipe away. All right, you guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull up some lashes. Today we're gonna go ahead and jump into Extra by Batty B Lashes. Now Batty B Lashes are one of my favorite lashes. Um, if you need something big and easy to wear, they're fucking amazing. Go check them out ASAP on Instagram. Batty B Lashes are amazing, you guys. Take a small, small, tiny brush and I'm just gonna literally lightly uh, smoke out the bottom of my eyes. Uh, I feel like it needs something. I feel like I'm so plain. I think it needs a little liner, a little fun thing on top. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna attempt to draw a little floating liner on my corner using liquid lipsticks. I think it needs something for sure. So this is the Velour Liquid Lipstick and this one is called No Offense. And what I usually do with his liquid lipstick is I take some and I put it on my hand and I take it. I don't know about doing anything. Let's see if I can really intense it. There you go. That looks a little cool. So I take a little bit of black. I mean, you know, it's very like, I kinda like 
skirt. Taking the blue, so this blue is called Breakfast at Tiffany's. And I take a little bit and I just kind of put some on my hand. And I do the same thing on this way. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty, I love it. I love it, I'm so, so happy I tried that. Okay, so taking a little bit of black, I like to take it and blend in that liner. You guys, I'm just coming up with all these fucking ideas. Now, I need to find like a really, really white highlight that is like so bright and so stunning. I'm gonna try the color version. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Virgin in the Jawbreaker is everything. I love it. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get that wig on and let's see what it looks like. Ah, my God, look at it. Totally loving it. Now, the only thing that I'm, oh my God. God, you know what? I actually thought I was gonna hate the green side, but I actually love the green side. Obviously, I do not have lips on. At first, I was gonna go ahead and do nude, but I think I wanna do like pink. I feel like pink would be like stunning. Um, do I have like a magenta? So I'm gonna go ahead and use Anastasia. This is Madison. I feel like a pink this color hair would be nice. If not, we can always wipe it off. Oh, I kind of like it. O-M-G. O-M-G. O-M-G, you guys. I love it. You know, I think I need more highlight. Hold on. There you go, mama. Okay, you guys. Totally just put on the final look. I'm feeling super cunt. Now, remember, the topic of the video is which eye do you guys like better? You guys ready? So... I am honestly leaning more towards the green. Um, I feel like the green is giving me more like bubble gum. I hate to say it, watermelon. It's like that watermelon vibe, very juicy, very like, hey girl. Um, and this side, it's more cold. I don't mind this side. I actually really do love the blue, but this is kind of more like, I. Okay, you guys, so the color of my hair, you guys, I did dye this from a platinum blonde wig. I actually do a lot of my hair dyes. A lot of my wigs are dyed with the brand called Arctic Fox. Now this color is in the virgin pink and you guys can get this at a Sally's Beauty Supply online um, I'm sure they have Instagram. Um, I love their colors because their colors are so pigmented and I literally just do the dip and dye effect You guys I had so so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this I honestly hope like 2020 like people just rock two different eyeshadows Like what do you guys think and if I missed anything that you guys have questions on please write it in the comments below And I will do my best to answer them for you. I love you guys so much I want to see you guys every single week. So hit that subscribe subscribe button and I will see you guys in a few days.